what does the word rabbi mean? It says teacher. It means teacher. Mm -hmm. It's all, oh, by the way, for the rest of the school year, I was Rabbi O'Leary. That's you know, right. those are the kids, you know. <laughs> so when you became a teacher, did you know that this was the life you were going to lead? That you were going to have such an exciting... Uh, I was, uh, well, all this happened before I was a teacher, but my activism started yeah. when we had a, uh, in Lindsay, we had a freeze. And uh, basically there was orange groves all around. And because of the freeze, the oranges froze on the vine. They looked beautiful, but they were hollow. They dehydrated. Mm. And so all of a sudden, unemployment is 95% in this little town. Because everybody was a field worker. Uh -huh. I had a, two or three moms come to me one evening, or after school. And they told me, they asked if I could do them a favor. I said, what's the favor? And they said, our husbands don't want to accept charity. Could you talk to our husbands and ask them that they accept food because our kids are going hungry right now? And my speech was basically, um, guys, it's macho to accept charity to feed your family if, and here's the, the thing I want you to do, once you're on your feet again, I want you to help somebody else. Mm -hmm. And that was acceptable to them. And with that, I contacted Cesar Chavez and the United Farm Workers and a couple churches offered help, food. And so that kind of got me started in mm -hmm. the activism part in education. Nice. Um, over the years, I was the president of the California Association for Bilingual Education. and. When I became president, it was this nice little group that teachers got together and traded lesson plans. Mm -hmm. My luck, the year that I was president, all of a sudden uh, this guy named Ron Unz came around and put a proposition on the ballot saying he wanted to make speaking Spanish illegal in the schools. Yeah. And the damn thing passed. Wow. And, you know, in, in that process, running up to the election, I'm in the newspapers, I'm running up to Sacramento, I'm doing all these. And, and so that was part of the thing. It passed. Part of it was if you spoke Spanish in the classroom, you'd be sued. You yeah. could be sued. So they keep, they're still doing that stuff. And because I had been the president of this organization, I was sued by several people, uh, you know, or threatened to be sued by several people. Mm -hmm. And my answer was go ahead. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, like uh, I'm a teacher, please uh, go, you're welcome to everything that I own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I was like, you know, as, as I really cared about their threat, you know. <laughs> I've had Uzi's pointed at me before. Yeah, you know, and Chewy, you're you a know, really, Yeah, yeah. You know. um, and uh, eventually, uh, by the way, eventually we passed a law that overturned that, so. That's what I was going to say. How... How long did that stay in effect? Cause I it, know. Was, it was several years. Mm -hmm. and it truly was painful to see. It's beautiful, a rabbi O'Leary. So <laughs> I know, you're not ever going to be called anything. Rabbi Zofalo, I wanted to thank you for thank this you. Uh, beautiful Do I get to see it? I want to show you. Wow. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Very cute. A lot of cheeks, but I like that. Well, I like that because you're very yeah. happy cheeks. So. <laughs> I do have to take a picture of that. Oh, yeah, my absolutely. wife is going to want to see it. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Thank Hi. you. Thank you.